my name is Emmanuel Lumansario. Uh, I'm from Bonn, Germany, a city, smaller city close to Cologne. And I'm 32 years old and I've been working in public policy for the past seven years. Uh, previously worked for the US Congress, um, but also private companies um, in, a, in the realm of pharmaceuticals. And I'll soon be moving to the tech sector where I'll be working on public policy for Sub-Saharan Africa. I would say my first field of interest is mainly policy, uh, due to my previous experience in policy. But one thing that really drew me about uh, the program itself and uh, Adele is its uh, focus on obviously South and South cooperation, for one, but also secondly, just the internationality of the participants. It seems like participating in this program, I've met a lot of my peers, similar to my experience. I was born and raised in Germany, but my parents are from the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and I speak multiple languages like many other participants, and also those who've also worked and lived abroad. So a lot of those candidates and uh, my fellow participants bring this international makeup that I also possess, and I think that's, that those are the main two things that which really drew me to this pro program. Okay. Yes, I, I certainly believe in Africa's future. Uh, I'm quite optimistic, mainly because of uh, Africa's people, because African citizens have proven over the years, disregarding of uh, a time of economic turmoil or other issues, people have proven to be resilient. And I think because those people have been resilient and also have family on the continent still in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, I just see their strength and, and commitment towards the continent and love and passion as well. That's the, that's the sole reason I believe in Africa's future as a continent and its, uh, its people. But I also see Africa's future being pan-African. Not, not so much closing borders, uh, such as has, has been the case as of recently, but more so in African United. I actually got to the Congress through a program by the name of Congressional Black Caucus. I was also chosen as being an emerging leader for this program, and which this is actually the problem, which the program which enabled me to uh, live a year in DC, um, obviously work in the Congress, but also at another institution by the name of Center for International Private Enterprise. They also deal with private sector development in Africa. So I was given the opportunity to, to uh, experience both the public and private sector. Uh, with regards to uh, the Congress or the, exp the European or rather US uh, Congress being applicable on an African continent. I think I do. I don't think so. I do believe in democracy. I do believe in uh, the strength of a republic. But then at the same time, Africa has to find its own solutions. Africa just has a different history, and an history which has all, often been neglected. But it's definitely time for Africans to uh, find back their roots and kind of apply those things that they were always given in their roots, apply to their own context. And I, I believe that this is when true change can occur on the continent.